This video shows the DL profiles command found within the sync pack. This command allows me to link PVIs of profiles to other objects, such as surfaces, other profiles, um, or points. To run the command, I can go to the sync pack one tab, go to the links panel, and choose DL profiles. This will open up and show me the information about profiles. In this case, I have profiles linked from the 3D profiles command. In this command, I can link the PVIs to different objects. So here I want to go to the layout linked, or I want to pick which profile I want to use. And I'm going to use this profile here, which is the layout linked profile. Here I have a list of linked PVIs, but I can also link it to a surface. Here I can use the add new link or add new PVI. And I'm going to use the add new link command. And I'm going to select this PVI link. Here I'm going to link it to a surface. And I'm going to select the surface from the drawing. So now that PVI will update and reflect the elevation information from that surface. Here I can apply a datum adjustment. So if I want to be 0.5 feet below it, I can enter in that value here. And I can create a full profile link or just individual PVIs. So now when I hit OK, that PVI is going to grab the elevation of the surface there. So if I then raise or lower this surface, which I can do from the edit surface, and I can move this down negative five feet, that profile PVI point will then reflect that change. So this would be useful if I had, if I'm tying into another surface, such as the existing ground, I always want it to be at the existing ground elevation. To modify it, I can go back into the DL profiles command, select the object, and then change the parameters. So in this case, I want to modify this profile, and I want to link it to my other profile. Here I can add in a new PVI, and I'm going to link that PVI, and I'm going to link it to the ditch profile, and I can go ahead and select it and make sure I grab the correct one. Here I can add in some additional parameters if I wanted to. Um, in this case, I'm not going to apply a, a datum adjustment. If there was a two alignments that I had selected um, on two different profiles, in this case it's the same, I could apply a greater slope between those two profiles. If I want a full profile link, I could choose this option, and then it's going to link all of the PVIs. Um, I could also link PVI to PVI, and then it'll grab uh, between those two PVIs. So if one PVI changed, the other PVI would reflect it. So then I can hit OK, and now I can see the PVI went straight down. And now if I adjust the elevation, the other profile will match it. So this allows us to control profiles using other objects, such as surfaces or profiles, and also calculate values between those. And so this is the DL profiles command found within the sync pack.